Hey, hey, hey everybody, Gigablasto2 here, and welcome back to another tutorial video. It has been a while since I've done these uh, helpful videos for people who have probably, if not hardly, done it already. <laughs> I'm original, I swear. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Alright, the following things that you will need to install are these applications. Blockbench. This tool will help you to model and process the display that you are wishing to wear slash add to your model. Notepad++. This tool is going to organize the code to make sure things are simpler for you to port your model to the new More Player Models folder called Assets. You will find each of these downloads in the link in the description below. Once you've acquired the following applications, it will be wise to go ahead and click on the link in the description to grab two extra files called the Steve BB Basic Model and the Basic NPM Code. So first we will start off with Blockbench. Here's a quick little summary to help you understand how Blockbench works. To start off, you will need to open Blockbench and create new Bedrock Model. Once again, this is a Bedrock Model. Though the version of Minecraft you might be playing is Java, it will not affect the outcome of the product. Then drag the Steve model over from the folder that you originally have it left in. I would recommend for organization purposes to try and keep all of your models in a file by itself on your desktop. Next, you will need to click on the folder button, which is located in the right hand side of the application name menu. From there, you can do the following with the block. You can position, resize, or rotate the object. Here's a quick demonstration of all three. Congrats, now you know how to model. From here, all you need to do is complete the model itself. Be sure that all of your added blocks are underneath the folder you clicked at the beginning of the tutorial. Once you have your model and you are confident within your work, rename the folder to whatever your design will be saved under. Then you will need to click on the eyes to make sure the Steve Basic model is invisible. Go to File on the top left corner and you will have a selection of options to export. You will need to save it under Bedrock Geometry. Drag it to your desktop or your folder that I recommended from the beginning of the video. Alrighty then, we are almost done with the process. Now here comes the part a majority of people fail to do correctly. Which is why we're here now. Pay attention. Punctuation matters when it comes to coding and will fail if you don't follow these exact steps. When you get to your Notepad++, do not just simply open the file. You'll want to right click and select Edit with Notepad++, in which the code itself will pull up. The first one we will be editing is your model, which, if done correctly, should be in a .json file. Click on Edit with Notepad++ and then you will see a massive code that will contain the basic Steve model, but also your model at the bottom. You will need to save the following text. From format version 1.12.0 to bones, which will have right next to it the bracket facing right, you will need to save that code. I repeat, format version 1.12.0 to bones with the bracket facing right you will need to save that code. Once you have that knowledge and locked it in, delete everything else until you reach the bottom of the code. At the bottom, there will be a comma separating the object in which you made from the Steve model that Nopez made. Once you've highlighted that comma, delete the Steve model. If done right, it should look something like this. If not, click undo and try it again to see where you messed up. Make sure you select everything, even spaces count. Now you will see that within the code you have, there is a bracket on the top facing left and a bracket on the bottom facing right. You will want to copy everything inside it, not the brackets themselves, everything inside it. Once you copy it, then congrats, you are almost done with the coding. Now it's time to port it to the other .json file that you should have downloaded in which it is called the basic code. Find where your basic code is and right click. Find the edit with notepad plus plus and it should open the tab for you within the application. Don't worry, you still have the data to copy from the first .json file that you made. Within the code, your layout should look like this. You will hover over name and rename parts.legs to whatever you decide to display the creation as. In this case, I made a hoodie and I will rename the parts.leg to hoodie. You will then go over to render data 
Click on the end with the brackets facing right and then press the enter key to create a space underneath. Right click and paste the code from before in which should end up looking like this. This is the part people fail to realize. Organization matters. Select everything uh, like before except leave out the format version 1.12.0. Once the following has been selected, click the tab twice. This should reposition the code and reorganize the format. From here on, this part might be different. For me, I am making a hoodie, which of course is on the top of the head. For you, it may be different. So whatever body part you have, rename the body in which you want it on. If you want a chest piece or something dealing with the upper body, you'll leave it as body. If you want leggings or anything of the lower part of the body, you'll leave it as legs. If you want a helmet, you'll leave it as head. Once you have decided your part, then go ahead and retitle the parts.legs next to the menu to whatever you wish to display it under. For example, I want it to be a headwear, so I'm going to rename the part of the parts.legs to parts.headwear. This next step is only for people who are not using non-animated models. You will need to delete the animation inherit completely along with the legs. But make sure when you delete it that there is no space in between the menu and preview rotation. Again, this is only for people with non-animated models. Once completed, you'll want to click Save, also found on the top left corner. Now it's time to put the file into the NPM category. First off, you'll need to go to percent app data percent. You will select dot Minecraft and then you will select more player models. Within the new NPM update, there is an assets folder. If you cannot find this, please make sure you've installed the latest NPM and load it within Minecraft. After you've completed that, check the folder to see if it's there. If so, then go ahead and click it. Inside, you will need to select the folder called Parts. Once open, drag your basic code.json file that you worked on into the folder. From here, all you have to do is check Minecraft and it will be there. If you did all the steps correctly, then congrats! I hope you enjoy the model and show it off to some of your friends or even use it for your survival story. If the model doesn't show up, please rewatch the video. Maybe you missed a step or didn't fully understand it. If you didn't, please comment and I will get back to you within one to three business days. Until then, I hope you enjoyed. If this helped you, then please leave a like and subscribe. God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Gigablasto2, signing out. See ya!